magical people. What's up, beautiful magical people? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are. Um, so yeah, we last last left off at the hospital having our baby, and that's super exciting. Yay! We have been home with our baby for about a week and a half now. Um, the experience is great. It's amazing, and. This is our labor and delivery story. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. You want to start off first? I mean, you experienced I mean, it first. Yeah. Yeah. So, where we last left off, I was having, like, lots and lots of contractions. Um, but it was a little better because I told you that I had the epidural, but it was starting to hurt again. <clears throat> but, yes. That's what happened. After that, I really wasn't having, like, the epidural, I was, I didn't know that the epidural wouldn't stop, like, all pain. Like, when I hear people have get epidurals, or I see people get an epidural, they're, like, pain-free, all nice, all good. It was just, like, pushing out nothing. They didn't know what the hell it was and things like that, right? I didn't experience that. So, I still felt a lot of pressure, and that pressure hurt so bad like I thought that was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life like it was so painful it hurt so bad it felt like my vagina and my asshole was gonna rip off mm. and like I felt like the baby was like pushing down on everything and like I just feel like the baby was just gonna crawl out of me like alien versus predator type shit. Like, I, it hurt really bad. And I didn't expect that with an epidural. I thought, you know, again, I thought the epidural was supposed to stop pain completely and make everything good. But it didn't. And so that's what happened. And so they told me it was the baby's head and it's right there because my water was broken and everything and all of that stuff. Um... My water, they broke my water and they found meconium in the water. So they had to call the pediatrician and they had to put all the pedia baby, whatever. Oh, in layman's okay. terms, meconium just means that she got pooped in by the baby. Go on. Meconium. Meconium? Yeah. Chemical X. Keep going. Um, yeah, so that is the baby's poop. First poop, it's called meconium. And yeah, he pooped inside of me, so they were concerned. Because if the baby's not crying, they're not, um, concerned that he inhaled the poop and then they have to do a whole bunch of extra shit to help the baby. Now, um, after they broke my water, tense, intense pain, whatever, I kept telling them to do the epidural, to do the epidural, to do the epidural, and um, they kept upping the epidural, but it didn't work. Nothing worked. The pressure was really, really painful, and I really wanted to cry and like die. And they were like, "Oh, the epidural is working because you're not feeling it in your belly." And I'm just like, "You're a liar because my freaking vagina feels like it's on fire." And I just want to cut something right now. Oh. Like I'm in so much pain. It got so bad that um, she used to like fall asleep and then wake up in pain. And I'm like, "Baby, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong?" All she could say is ice chips. Yeah. Or just water. It yeah. was just crazy. She was in that much pain. I couldn't eat anything. And so I just needed something in my mouth because it was really, really dry. So I said, I shipped water, I shipped water, I shipped water. And I kept drinking, drinking, drinking because that's really, to me, that's what really helped is drinking the water, something cold, just drinking to distract me. But that nipped me in the bud in the end because. We had our friends in the room, and I couldn't talk to them or whatever, <laughs> and I was in so much pain, and they tried to check me or whatever, and uh, they laid me, laid me back, and I couldn't breathe, and I threw up everywhere. Oh, yeah. I mean, everywhere. The I threw floor, up, I threw the up my table, pail. my sweater. Like, I threw up <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. And it was so bad. Like, I felt like I was dying. It was so bad. And they were like, okay, no more water for her. Because they didn't expect me to throw up that back. Because I was like, I gotta puke. 
And they were like, no more water for you. Just like one little ice chips here and there. But I was so thirsty. Mm-hmm. And I was like such in pain. And I kept making him sneak me some more water. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like they, they laid me back. And I knew, like I was feeling acid reflux. Like I really was feeling heartburn and really painful like stuff. So I was like, you know, let me drink water to calm that down. So that's why I was also drinking a lot of water. But in the end, I just threw up everywhere, all over the place. <laughs> they were so shocked. They were just like, okay, she had to throw up. Okay, let's get her like a bucket. <laughs> and, and then after that, they told, like my friend, I, I swear, I think I traumatized our friends because I didn't think that, mm-hmm. you know. It's the best contraception ever. Watch someone go through pregnancy yeah. and delivery. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that was it. And then it was time to push. And so, I was pushing because they were like, okay, your cervix is still there, but let's push every contraction to get you to do something. So, I was pushing, pushing, pushing. And oh my god, every I was so tiring. I didn't expect to be so tired. Like it was exhausting to push, but pushing really did help. Like I felt it, and they were like every contraction you push, the contraction hurt, and I'm just like, oh my god, let's push this one. And then they were like, oh, wait until the middle of the contraction and then push. And I'm like, oh my god, bitch, this hurts. Let me just push. And I was so tired that I fell asleep between contractions. Oh, yeah. And then my husband, John, was like, did you fall asleep? And the doctor's like, oh, no, no, let her sleep, let her sleep. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. And they were like, yeah, let her sleep. And then, like, if it wasn't that painful, I didn't push. And we're like, was that a contraction? I'm like, yeah, yeah, but, you know, like, I didn't want to push. Because pushing hurt. And they made me push, and he had to push for 30 seconds in 10 second intervals and those pushings are exhausting and I couldn't fully push and I was just like, I was just like, you like that and it was just like really, really hard to push or whatever. But um, anyway, yeah, I pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and then our baby was born, finally. And I was really sad because I wanted to um, record it, but I had this little clip of when we were starting to push, they were explaining to push to me, and um, he put on the camera. It was so perfect. You could see it. It was perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, perfect position. And then she was just like, yeah, you know, tell your friends, you know, we're about to push. She'll wait down in the hallway, wait down in the waiting room. She was like, we can't wait in the hallway. And... Um, also, you cannot record this. And my husband's like, oh, yeah? And it's like, oh, so you want me to turn it off now? She's like, that would be great. And I'm just like, oh, you idiot. You need to go and hide the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, because I know most um, hospitals, they don't want to let you record just in case something goes wrong. And they don't want to be liable. Right. So that's the reason why they don't like to record. So if you, any of you guys are... Wanted to record or whatever, whatever. Definitely look early on to your hospital's policy about recording the birds. If they say don't do it, then definitely hide the cameras because you definitely want to keep that. Like I'm telling this a week and a half later, and some stuff I can't remember. Like I can't remember how painful contractions are when I was starting out. But uh, you know, there's little details that you lose. So definitely, definitely try to record. But anyway, guys, this is going to be, you know, um, part one of our labor and delivery story. So stay tuned for part two. All right. All right. See you then, guys.